Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Me Lab. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today we'll take a step back to basics and cover relays. This is a question that comes up a lot on the channel because there seems to be a lot of mystery behind how relays work and how we can use them with our Arduino and Raspberry Pi projects. There is not much to them. There's no need for mystery. Let's take a look. This is the form factor we'll find commonly now marketed towards electronics projects. Four good quality relays in most cases with LED indication of operation and power. Inside the relay there is not much to it. We have two coil terminals leading to just a coil of wire usually with a, a ferrous core and it affects this hinged armature. In this case it's drawn energized and this armature will come down and make contact with the normally open contact. This joins normally open to common. When we remove our low current supply to this, the armature will move up and we will have a circuit from our normally close to our common. That is really all there is to the inside. There's a couple more components in some cases and we'll go over those in a moment. Let's take this down to the bench and show it in practical use. Down on the bench here, we've got a basic relay setup. We've just got one relay hooked to the Arduino via the trigger pin, a positive on our coil, a negative, and our VCC for the relay. There is not much to this setup. We've hooked it to digital pin 13 for the positive side of our coil. That way you can use the blink sketch to recreate this. I'll put the code for this down below in case you want the more extravagant code, but ground to the arduino to the coil we have 110 volt this is mains 110 running 110 volt light don't do this unless you're comfortable working around 110 volt ac but you can do this for any dc load etc no problem so our 110 and our neutral nothing to it the reason I have some extra wires here is I've gone ahead and I've done uh, an OLED display to show the output of the relay at all times. We'll go ahead and fire it up. So without the 110 hooked up, we've got our relay toggling just from digital pin 13 with the blink sketch and some OLED code. That's it. We are able to control any output across that relay now. And we'll go ahead and hook up our light. Remember, if you're working around 110, be safe guys. There we go, our 110 volt light hooked up, just switching the hot side, no problem. This will work for any circuit you desire, any motor, etc. as long as you make sure that you have the correct amperage of relay and obviously wiring and all that. Be safe, guys. One last thing. I didn't explain this initially. There's one more component here that's important if you're going to be using relays that maybe aren't designed for electronics use. Across our coil here, we have a diode. And this is because as we energize our coil, our magnetic field expands and we pull in this movable contact, make contact through our light. The funny part comes in is when you disconnect your power. What we end up doing is the magnetic field collapses. And if you remember from school, anytime you have relative movement between a magnetic field and a coil, you're going to generate a voltage. In this case, it's going to be a back EMF. This diode is there to conduct the energy back into the coil instead of going back and whacking the, de whacking the Arduino with excessive, excessive voltage. This can be orders of magnitude over the uh, supply voltage. It is really important that you have those there, otherwise if you're driving from a microcontroller or a light duty transistor, you will not have a long life on it without a diode to conduct it. There are known as clamping diodes, surge suppression, tons of names out there for them, but at the end of the day they do the same thing. They allow that, that collapse of the magnetic field, that inductive kick, go back into the coil. That is all there is to it. You can put a relay into any of your circuits, no problems. Thanks for all your support and your thumbs up and your subscribes out there. Truly love you guys, truly appreciate you. Good luck in all your ventures. Post a comment down below. Let me know what you're making with relays. I'd love to hear it. Cheers guys.